Hey guys, remember to pick up my latest downloadable ebook on sale now at BexLife.com. Hey everybody, it's Bex here. As most of you know, I'm a mom of three and I get tons of requests for a workout to show how I got my belly nice and flat after three babies. So today I'm going to go through just three exercises that you can do every day if you'd like as part of your regular workout routine to get your core nice and tight and get you back into pre-baby belly shape. The first exercise is probably one that all of you already know. It's elbow planks. So we're going to perform a simple plank on the floor on our elbows. The most important part is to keep those elbows right underneath your shoulders and your hands and fingers spread nice and wide, press firmly into the ground. Reach out all the way behind you with your feet and form a nice plank with your body, making sure that it's a straight line from the crown of your head to the heels of your feet. We're going to time this for one minute, but just do it as long as you can, contracting your abdominal muscles and pulling that belly button in toward your spine. Let's begin the one minute. It's important to breathe throughout the entire exercise, and if you feel like you're getting tired, you can rock back and forth and side to side. Just make sure that your core is nice and tight, and that you're forming a straight line by tucking your tailbone and really pressing into the floor. Resist tucking your chin down or looking up towards the sky. You just want a nice straight line. This is working your abdominals as well as your lower back. These static exercises are really great for building strength and endurance. The next exercise that I want to do with you all are boat crunches. So a boat pose in yoga is holding your calves parallel to the floor with your feet flexed back and your arms out with your back nice and straight. So instead of holding it static, we're going to straighten the legs and come back and then bring it back in. Straighten and come back and bring it back in. Let's do that for one minute or as long as you can. Each time you run through these exercises, I want you to try to push a little bit harder and go a little bit longer. So let's begin. Lower, straighten, and bring it back up. Sometimes I even lose my balance. That's okay. It's not the balance that's important. It's the holding in and contracting of the muscles. So we're inhaling when we're extending the legs and exhaling when we're coming up. A few more. And that was the minute. It's tough, but it's great for those abs. The final exercise that I want you to perform for one minute again are alternating leg drops. So we're on our backs, hands to our sides, or underneath your butt if that helps with stability or with comfort. Bring both legs up like you're stepping on the ceiling with your feet flat and your toes flexed back towards you. You're going to lower one leg, bring it up, the other, bring it up, and then both together. Just like that. And just perform that for an entire minute. And remember to keep your legs nice and straight, your abdominals nice and tight, and your back pressed firmly into the floor. Don't lift those shoulders up off the floor if you can. So let's get ready. I'll set my gym boss timer. And let's begin. Right, left, both together. Beautiful. Right, 
left, both together. Right, left, both together. Remember, we're not dropping our feet all the way to the floor. We're just lowering it as far as we can without touching. And you're pulling in not with your legs, but with your lower abdominals. That's the spot that's trickiest for women. Because that's where that little pooch comes out after you have a baby. So hard to get rid of. This will get it nice and tight. Remember to breathe all the way through. You never want to hold your breath. It's the worst thing. Breathing helps your muscles open up. Really gets you into the movement. And that was the minute. Now, when you're doing this on your own, give yourself a minimal amount of exercise, or I'm sorry, a minimal amount of rest. You want lots and lots of exercise in between each set so that you're not sitting for a long period of time. Go one right after the other. After you've completed all three exercises, you can take a nice one minute break and let yourself regain your breath and then go through the rounds again. Three or four rounds of that would be fantastic and ideal to add into any regular workout. But remember, to really get rid of that baby belly, eating a clean, organic, whole food diet is best. That's going to help you get rid of all that excess fat and all that excess intestinal baggage and then really get those muscles to pop out and show through. To have that beautiful six pack or nice flat abs that you had before the baby. Or maybe not before the baby, but now you can get them brand new. I'm in the best shape of my life after three kids, better than I ever was before I even started having children. So keep that in mind, it's never, never too late to get in shape. So if you have any questions or requests, shoot them at me. I love hearing your ideas for new videos and there will be lots more baby belly workouts and coming soon prenatal workouts from Bex. So stick around and remember to comment and subscribe.